Ассаляму алейкум ва рахматуллахи ва баракяту. Good afternoon. I am Olga Berlan, English teacher from AUS Academy School. And today I will present you the first lesson from AUS Academy program for online education. It will be the lesson for the uh, seventh grade. Uh, so, bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, let's begin. I decided to make a short revision of our grammar. Uh, what does it mean, Islam, the short revision? Okay, and we will speak about adjectives. But first of all, I would like to remember you about, um, to remember you the parts of the speech. Okay, we have, in all the languages, we have nouns. Isim. We have verb. Fail. And also we have adjectives. Sifa. We use adjectives to describe nouns. What does it mean? We use adjectives to describe nouns. For example, noun. For example, a boy is a noun. Book is a noun. Also, flower is a noun. Now we want to describe these nouns. What does it mean we want to describe these nouns? What will we use? We will use adjectives. What does it mean? Okay. For example, let's make a sentence, a simple sentence. Okay. The flower is beautiful. What does it mean to say, please? Zahra to Jamila. Okay. Flower is a noun. Zahra is Beautiful is an adjective. Jamil Sifa. Okay, beautiful describes flower. Kilmet beautiful tasif kilmet flower. Okay, it's a very simple sentence and here we can see that flower is a noun and beautiful is an adjective that describes the noun, that describes the flower. Beautiful, which is an adjective, is describes the flower, which is a noun. How is our flower? Our flower is beautiful. Now, there are three forms of adjectives. Basic form like old, قديم. like interesting, Okay, these are the basic form. Now, imagine that we want to compare between two different things. For example, we have a boy who is six years old and we have a girl who is seven years old. This is some, what did I say? لدينا فتاة عمره ست سنوات وفتاة عمرها سبع سنوات والآن نريد أن نقارن بينهم. We will say it like this. The girl is older than the boy. الفتاة أكبر من الولد. The girl is older than the boy. What did we do? We just added er ending to the adjective old. وضعنا حرف e وحرف r لصفة old. And also then word then. وضفنا كلمة then. In this way, we formed comparative. نحن أضفنا ER بعد الصفة old 
وأضفنا كلمة ذان وهكذا قمنا قمنا بالمقارنة بين الولد والبنت. Yes, the girl is old. The old became older than the boy. Older than the boy. And our second example is the boy is younger than the girl. الولد أصغر من البنت. Okay, we added just er ending to the adjective and word than. وإحنا هنا أضفنا فقط er بعد الصفة وكلمة than كما في الجملة السابقة وهكذا قارنا بينهم. Now, old and young are short. Words, short words. What does it mean? The كلمة old و كلمة young كلمتان قصيرتان. That's why we add just er ending. لهذا أضفنا حرفي er بعدهما. And then. و كلمة then بعد الكلمة. Because this is the rule. For the short words, this rule is for the short adjectives. هذه القاعدة للصفات القصيرة. Let's make another example. We have winter, and we have summer. Winter شتاء, summer الصيف. And we want to compare between them. ونحن نريد أن نقارن بينهم. Now we make a sentence. Winter is colder than summer. الشتاء أبرد من الصيف. Okay, we added er ending, we added then, and we form the comparative. نحن أضفنا er على كل على الصفة وكلمة then بعدها. Okay, I told you about short adjectives, and now we have long adjectives. For example, we have intelligent, we have one, two, three, four syllabes. Another adjective is beautiful. Will be one, two, three, three syllables. لدينا ثلاث مقاطع. These are long adjectives. هذه صفات طويلة. Intelligent. What's the meaning of intelligent? معناها ذكي. It is a long adjective. It has four syllables. And we have beautiful. What does it mean? Beautiful ma jamil. And it is it has three syllables. It's a long adjective. For example, let's make a sentence with a long adjective. The boy is more intelligent. Then the girl. الولد أذكى من البنت. The boy is more intelligent than the girl. We compared between boy and girl, but we didn't add er ending. We didn't add it. نحن نقارن بين الولد والبنت ولكن لم نضف er بعد الصفة. We added word more before the adjective. لكن أضفنا كلمة more قبل الصفة. And in result, we add the boy is more intelligent than the girl. 
we put it more before the adjective. لقد وضعنا more قبل الصفة. Then we have adjective intelligent and word than after the adjective. وكلمة than بعد الصفة. What is the rule when we have long adjective? We don't add er ending. We add more and we have than after the adjective. Okay. Uh, I will take you another example. The girl is, we have here, beautiful. We have here the boy. And let's see how we will make the comparative form of the adjective. Okay, beautiful. Will we add ER ending here? No, we will not because it's a long adjective. We will add more before it. And then after it. So we said that we have short adjectives. Like old, like big, like short, like young. And the rule is that uh, we have adjective, then we add ER ending, and then. For the short adjectives. And we have long adjectives. And the rule is that we put more before adjective, then we have adjective, and then we have then. And we have example for short adjectives, for example, older than, bigger than, smaller than, younger than. Them. And we have example for long adjectives, for example, more beautiful than, more intelligent than, more pleasant than.